Hi folks, PhotoFisher here again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add legs and a pot stand holder to any soda can stove. This design gives you the flexibility of having two heights above the flame. The heights we just showed you there. If you take these off and put the pot back on, a height closer to the flame. To complete this project, you'll need some tools and some materials. First, the tools. You'll need a small vise, some scissors, a small hammer, a metal file, some wire cutters, a scrap piece of board, a six-penny nail, a pipe cutter to cut the copper tubing, or a small saw, some screws to create a jig to do the wire bending, a strip of paper long enough to go around the circumference of your stove, and some masking tape. And the materials are pretty simple. 14 gauge multi-purpose wire, some copper tubing with an inside diameter hole large enough so that the diameter of the wire can slide through it, and some aluminum foil tape. And of course, you'll need your favorite design of a soda can alcohol stove. I would say that shorter cans work better for this design of legs and pot stand combined, as I'll show you here in a few minutes. And can stoves that have flames that come out the side where the pot can sit on top really don't require legs. Here you can see I've burned this enough to the point where it's starting to deform the side of that soda can. And taller designs such as this really don't need legs at all. Um, and it might be even more difficult to apply that length of brass tubing to a can stove like that. So what I've chosen to use is my Ham's Zelf modified stove and I'll provide the link to how to build that stove uh, separately here in the video. The first step is to cut approximately a 10 to 12 inch section of the multi-purpose utility wire. That's roughly 25 to 30 centimeters. Now let's measure the length of the stove legs. As you can see, this stove is approximately one and a half inches high, or four centimeters. I'll go up about a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch above that, and make a mark. That will be the length of each leg. Now it's time to cut the pipe at the mark that you've made relative to the height of the stove that you're fitting these legs to. Notice I've put the, a piece of rubber around this copper pipe as I put it into the vise so that the jaws won't mark the pipe. And I've placed my pipe cutter right on that mark that we just made. And as I go around, I continually tighten it. Do another tightening. Do another tightening. And I'm getting there. I can feel that the pipe is almost cut through right now. There we go. Do that for the rest of the three legs. So you'll have a total of four. Now that I've got all four legs cut, you can see that they're not all the same length. So what I've done is lined up one edge and wrapped a piece of tape around the entire four legs. I'm going to put this in the vise and file these off so that they're all the same length. Now that the legs are filed to equal lengths, we'll want to put the legs equidistant around the circumference of this stove can. To do this, simply tape a piece of paper anywhere along the start of the side of the can and move around until we reach the other end and mark that with a pencil. Take it off, we'll cut it there. And simply fold it twice. Don't 
those will be your four marks where the legs will go. Transfer the piece of paper that you just folded back onto the circumference of the stove and mark where those four creases are and that's where the legs will go. The next step is to measure off some aluminum foil tape. Here I'll just wrap this around the circumference of the stove and cut a little extra. So I've overlapped just a little bit here, maybe an inch or so, about three centimeters. And you cut that just like that. Now with the tape face down, fold it in half lengthwise. Form a crease, open it up, and cut along that crease, creating two strips. Peel back some of the backing from the aluminum foil tape and start the tape about halfway between two of the marks. Take one leg, flush down with the surface and the bottom of the stove and hold it in place. And just wrap that tape around the leg. Don't worry about it being perfect at this point. And do this for all four legs. For added durability, take the second strip that you've cut and apply it over the top of the first strip, adding a little bit of rigidity to the whole design. Now it's time to make the leg extensions. This is optional, as this height is probably just as good for a camping stove as any height. It's a pot just fine. Now it's time to take out that scrap piece of wood and we'll use this to create a jig to bend the wire. Use your stove and mark the center across two of the legs. Make sure that the others match. Perfect. With two wood screws, place them on the outside edge of each of your marks. Now with a straight edge, connect the two screws, holding the straight edge tightly against them, and draw a line. Let's make some additional marks on our bending jig before we place additional screws. From this line, go up a half inch and make two marks. And from the center of each screw, go out three quarters of an inch and make some marks. So roughly uh, about 1.7 centimeters and about two centimeters. Connect the marks above the screws and just draw some lines perpendicular to the center lines. On the inside junction of the two upper intersecting lines place another screw. Now that your jig is ready to use, take that 10 inch piece of leg wire, center it across all of the screws, and start bending. Put your fingers right next to where it needs to be bent, and take this leg and bend it all the way over like that. Do the same thing over here. Then take one of the legs and bend it down like this. Take one of the legs and bend it down like this. Remove this from the form and let's do some final shaping. Create a second leg using your jig and slightly bend one down in the middle to accommodate this one which will be the top piece. They should fit in the copper tubing pretty easily. Alternatively, you can get a little more fancy by creating a small notch in the upper piece to go over the lower piece. You can do this 
by putting a nail right here and taping it onto an anvil and hammer it down so that you form that little uh, V notch here. Although it's not necessary, it's a nice feature. Once you've inserted the wire into the copper legs, you may have to do some adjustment by bending it with your hands to ensure that the four sides touch the bottom of the pot. That way it's going to sit pretty level when you boil your water or cook your food. And that completes building a pot stand and legs for any soda can stove.